All right. Price one the books for 2023. So, uh, you know, it was a pretty windy day out there, and it, was, it wasn't helmets. So it's, uh, you know, some, uh, some of that stuff's not really real, real, real football yet. But it's good to be back out there on the turf. And I thought the kids had a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, obviously, a lot of new faces uh, in the lineup, you know, especially offensively. And so, uh, but they, you know, those, a lot of those guys have been waiting their turn and uh, been working really hard to, uh, to be ready when that time come. And I thought that, uh, you know, all that uh, created just a lot of positive energy out there. So, uh, you know, good, good solid day one. And, uh, you know, I told them the goals to sharpen things up and look a little bit better on Thursday and, uh, and focus on getting better every day. So we'll be in helmets on Thursday. We'll be in shells Friday afternoon, a little bit shorter Friday afternoon because we'll turn right around and go Saturday morning. We'll be full pads uh, Saturday morning, our first uh, live contact of the spring. So, uh, you know, it should be an exciting week. Questions? Coach, not that you guys are starting over, but with so many kind of guys maybe elevating into bigger roles, do you feel like it's more teaching this time time of year maybe than past years as far as, like, coaches, well, like, instructing players? Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's – you know, you, you look, like I said, offensively, you know, those guys in that first huddle, even though they've not really been in the first huddle a whole lot, they've all been in the program. And so it's, uh, you know, it's not like they don't know what they're doing and not like they you know, can't go out there and do it. You know, they've been preparing for this. Um, I think there's a lot of teaching going on with some of our younger players. Uh, and that's, uh, that was the big focus today was just, you know, coaching them really hard, kids being coachable. I told, I told the kids, I said, listen, if you screw up, you screw up. Nobody's going to yell at you for screwing up. Just great effort and great energy. That was our big focus for the day, and I thought we had that. I guess sort of going off that, as as you get multiple years into this, like you doing this, like how has maybe the goals or the shapes of these spring practices changed over the years? Well, you know, it's – I think, you know, you look at the roster top to bottom. I mean, I think, you know, you, you have a very solid roster and you have a, a lot of guys that have been in the program for multiple years. And so it's – you know, it's not like you're out there coaching effort and attitude. You know, it's not like you're, you, you know, you're out there, you know, coaching, you know, all, all the little stuff that you had to coach early on. You know, that stuff, you know, is kind of ingrained in all those kids. Uh, and you know, the new faces, you know, basically what you tell them is if you don't know what to do, just watch the guys in the, in the first group, you know, because they're going to do things right most of the time. So um, I think that's the advantage of, you know, being here multiple years in. Um, now, you, you know, you go through this when you, you know, you had a couple of guys declare early, you had, you know, a, a couple of seniors that had been here for a while. And when those guys graduate out, and you see this in programs across the country, uh, you know, you got to be ready, have the next guy ready, you know, to step up. And so that was, uh, you know, that was what you, what you saw out there today. You talked a lot of, you've talked about new faces. How many uh, freshmen have entered the spring? No, as far as freshmen, um, there's only a handful of freshmen. You, know, you have uh, Javius uh, Bond, the running back. You have Cam Durant, the offensive lineman. You have Raheem Jeter, uh, freshman quarterback. You have uh, Brock Winstead, freshman long snapper, will coach, freshman offensive lineman. Um, that may be it for freshmen, unless I'm forgetting somebody. I don't think I am. Uh, you know, the rest of the new faces are you know transfers. We have some new walk-ons, uh, so you have some stuff like that. How did Mason do today? Well, he's good. You know, very comfortable. Um, you know, the good thing is, you know, that wind out there, you know, he's got the, the velocity on his throws to where you know, he is able to throw through the wind. Uh, but I thought he had uh, good command of the offense. Uh, I thought he, he, he looked very comfortable out there. Wrapping up winter workouts with Big John, um, did anybody stand out in making some big-time gains or anything? Yeah, I mean, I think you, I think you have a lot of guys that stood out. And, uh, like, you know, it's, you looked like a guy like Marlon Gunn. You know, he looked like a kind of a guy on a mission during winter workouts, and you know, because he is. I mean, he's you know, he's he knows he's competing for a significant role this year, and that's you know, he's working hard to prepare for that. Kerry King, you know, that's another guy that's really you know had a good winter. I thought he was uh, I thought he was very consistent today, and uh, you know, really you know, doing things right, very decisive in his movements, and uh, you know, just looked very comfortable out there. So you know, I think you got a lot of guys that are uh, you know have worked very hard for uh, this this time going off that it seems like uh danka i don't know if it's a new number or what but he looks like a uh a, a different guy out there he is long as all get out he, he doesn't know where he's going half the time right. you know but he, the good thing about him that he goes hard 
he goes hard. You know, he is a long, athletic kid, uh, and certainly, you know, you're going to be able to do some different things with him, both, both defensively and on special teams. And, you know, I hate that Jeremy is out this spring. Uh, you know, the good thing is we'll get Jeremy healthy and he'll be back, and Jeremy's an experienced player. But it does give opportunity for, you know, guys like Jack. You know, Jack's got a chance to really solidify himself uh, as a kind of a, you know, a cornerstone guy defensively this spring. And then a guy like uh, Sam is going to get a lot of reps, a lot of coaching, a lot of work. And so you should see him develop really, really solidly as we go throughout the spring. You know, with some new, even new, like some new coaches, like I think Shankweiler has gone too. Is it good for them just to kind of get to know well, these Shank, guys? Shank, Shank was still around out there. Okay. You know, he was, he was still lurking around out there. He, he he's not, he's not going to be too far away. But nah, it's uh, you know we got uh, you know with Jules and uh, Allen both, uh, you know two. You know I think that you know have shown themselves right now to already be just you know be really good hires. I'm I'm very pleased. Uh, they're both just solid character people and. Uh, very knowledgeable. Uh, they have really connected with the players uh, very well so far. Uh, you know, Allen's got a lot of enthusiasm with those offensive linemen. So, uh, you know, that's uh, it's going to be a lot of energy out there. I, I told the, the linemen that when you know when we get the O line D line together, and you got uh, Coach Tesh and, and, and Allen out there in the middle of it, uh, you know, they they maybe end up going one on one or something like that. So. But uh, I thought I think you know those two guys are great uh, great additions to our staff. Y'all will probably know more about the offensive line when y'all put pads on. But how much are these first few weeks determining like where maybe guys fit? I know they all returned right. Strother and a couple other guys that have played, but just determining right. some of the moving pieces there. Well, you know you, you feel like if everybody was healthy, you know you got a couple of them that are watching right now. If everybody's healthy, you have a a very solid five. You got to kind of just figure out. You know who goes where kind of deal and you know with a couple of guys out you have some some other guys getting opportunities to show that they belong this spring so uh yeah there's some known commodities uh there's also some guys that uh like we talked about with some other positions that have been kind of waiting their turn and so uh you know with with Lyman, really with the, the the roster in general you know until we get to saturday you know, you, you can't put a whole lot of stock into a helmet practice, I and mean, there's lots of guys that look good out there, you know, in the helmets. This is East Carolina defensive coordinator Blake Harrell, and we're talking pirate football on the Sports Objective, the podcast for pirates.